Hey everyone, welcome back to Demon Souls. It's been a while since I recorded this game. Last time we hit up the Dragon God, um, and that's about it. You know that you know these videos are going to be a little bit less frequent. If you watch my update, I've just been like really busy with the puppy, so he's sleeping now, so I can um, get to recording a little bit. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna buy some. Huh? Why can't I only buy... Probably because I have a lot of shit, like, in my inventory. It's gotta be the reason. That's gotta be it. So, what we're going to do is we are going to continue in the game, obviously. Now let's get rid of the Adjudicator Shield. Don't need that. I think I have quite a lot of web. No, I don't. Huh, really strange. Because my it still feels like my inventory is super limited. Whatever. I can buy 26 of... That is really strange. Why can I only buy... Oh, fuck, there's a limit. That's how they solved it. There is a change with how healing works. Fucking hell. Okay. Here's the deal. I, I, I like this. Okay, this game just became a lot better in my eyes. Here is the issue that this game used to have. Um, in vanilla. Probably the biggest issue this game had is that... You could carry 99 of every single one of the healing items. So, what that meant... What don't I have? Oh, I don't have a chunk. Yeah, the chunk is the one that's like some real shit. So you could carry... You used to be able to carry 99 of every healing item. And that just made... Like, PvP especially it made it a nightmare but the late game especially as well like essentially the late game of demon souls was completely trivial am i recording audio hold on let me just check i am recording audio cool so yeah the late game of demon souls used to be a joke pretty much because you could just load yourself up with so many healing items that you could just keep munching uh and basically nothing would happen you are nearly unkillable. That is actually really good. Um, cool. Well, here we are, boys. Uh, the time has come to enter the world of... Oh, okay. So this is like a giant cave. I guess it's like a valley. Hence, Valley of Defilement. It, it was always kind of a nightmare to try and make out what the hell this area was supposed to be. But I understand now. So the time has come to enter Valley of Defilement 2. Probably one of the most infamous areas in the entire game because it is easily the hardest area in the game. And we're going to demonstrate why in just a little bit. We have come to the reason this fucking swamp. If you thought the swamp of Blight Town was bad, let me tell you, you ain't seen nothing yet. This fucking swamp slows you. Can you now roll in it? No, you can't. I was just at the edge. Okay, it poisons you, it slows you. You cannot roll in it. And there's a lot of it. So, yeah, this area is... Pretty much classified as a nightmare. Um, it's basically... Impossible to go through here without being poisoned. See? And it completely slows you down. Uh, now, you have to understand... I think I've talked about this before, that 
Poison is way worse in this game than any other Souls game because it also has the effectiveness of your healing item. Z. Healing items. So, yeah. That's, that's the deal with Valley of Defilement Area 2. You pretty much gotta pray like hell to make it through in some capacity. In, in any capacity. Now that way, that leads to some good ass treasure, but it's a nightmare to get to. Like, there's good treasure here, and they know it. Because... Well, they know that it's unavoidable for you to go through the swamp. And if you thought things weren't bad enough, you also have enemies. You also have these big motherfuckers. So, yeah. This truly is everybody's favorite place. And now technically you don't have to kill these enemies, but, you know, See, this is the this is the issue. I am poisoned. Fuck. I didn't even notice. So yeah, you gotta be. This is going to be some real concentration. The second sort of half of this area. Well, the second third of this area is even worse. And then the third part is where it gets a little bit easier. Still though, the issue is that it's extremely easy to slip up and land in more of this poison shit. Hence, not hence, like as demonstrated there. Okay, so this is the second third of the area. You have to navigate and I immediately fell off. Wonderful. Uh, never mind. Whatever I was going to say, uh, never, never mind. The idea would be to go through that upper area all the way there. And then you could skip. Well, not skip. You could skip the poison swamp. Not skip the area. I wish you could skip this area. But no, you can skip the poison swamp. Uh, yeah. I don't even know what the fuck this is. Dark moon grass. I try to avoid this part of the area where, whenever I can. Uh, I immediately fell off here, but what can you do? So yeah, as I said, this is truly a nightmarish place and the OG Souls Swamp area. It has the same enemies as Dark Souls does. Uh, and they are infinitely respawning as in Dark Souls. If that wasn't enough. As in if the area itself wasn't enough. Can we? Should we go there? And again, if I ever do a second playthrough of this game, which I definitely am going to do, I'm like almost 90% sure I'm going to play caster. And here's the part I fucking hate. Because you have not one, but two of these giant assholes. And you have this little tiny ass area to fight them on. And if you fuck up, you're going to end up in the swamp where you cannot dodge and you're immediately going to get hit. See, like that, that's the issue with this place. Uh, it's really like difficult to... Fuck. To judge. Die. 
it's really difficult to judge uh, the distance of where the swamp ends and no fuck come on and where the platform or sort of the ground begins yeah you have that motherfucker that cat that thing casts like poison and shit just an extra annoyance If I make it through here this smoothly, I'm going to be very, very impressed with myself. I'll take full credit for my abilities here if I make it through. Don't even think about that bitch. Okay, and there's one more part here. That's not the easiest. This village area. Let's see what she. So she. Like, listen, look at how fucking expensive her shit is. Like, not worth it at all. She does sell black pine resin, which is. Not bad. Oh, fuck. Mirdan set? Preservation grains. Increases resistance to. Status ailment temporarily for 2,000? Okay. I'll buy some black pine resin from, from you because why not? I have the cash. Black pine resin is going to be very useful for the upcoming boss here. Hence the reason I purchased it. So this village area You'd think it was less annoying, but believe me, it's not. Because you have these fuckers with this push attack, who are, without a doubt, the worst enemies in the game. In terms of power of annoyance. This is what annoyed me in the first part of this area too. That attack. It's all good though. Like Street Fighter ass ability. And believe me, they are all over the place here. So you can't really let your guard down. Luckily picking up a more Stable shield is helping out quite a bit. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. This is what I'm talking about. Like one of these things will like sneak up on you and push you. And then you're just like screwed. Man, could they have come up with a more annoying attack for this enemy? I'm not sure they could have. That tackle gets your blood boiling, that's for sure. It's just the type of shit it is. Of course, to add to the fun, you can still fall off back into the swamp. Which means you will have to kind of like circle back. So this is why I'm being like mega, mega careful here. Okay, eat shit. You deserve that. What the? Oh, shit. Okay. Cool. There aren't that many left. Once I come out the other side. Cool. 
There's only one more question. See, there is a shortcut back to the start, if you guys don't know. But the boss is so easy that sometimes I kind of question whether it's actually necessary to unlock this. But I'm going to. Just in the, the tiny, 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 tiny off chance that the boss kills me. We won't have to run through the entire area again. Because believe me, believe me, I've done that before, and it's about as unfun. What the hell? What the? What the hell was that? What? <laughs> okay, am I stoned? There must have been like some weird rare tank that I don't know about. Or something new. Okay, I'm taking a risk here. Fuck off. Fuck off. I knew there was one of these guys here. I was just about to say it. And believe me, it is not as difficult to fall off here as you would think. Last two. I think that's the last two. Treasure kick it. Nice. All we gotta do now is make it all the way back without killing ourselves. And then again, the gift of this place is that the boss happens to be piss easy. And this is where you get cocky. Don't get cocky, kid. If you fall off here, honestly, it's just worth using a... Um, Archstone Shard, I think it's called. The Homeward Bone equivalent of this game. Or if you have some faith, it's very much worth getting evacuation here. See that? Going back, it didn't seem that long, this path. But when you're going to the shortcut, man, does it feel it. Mm. Yeah, up here, I think. There we go. Alright. There's only one thing you really need for this boss. And that, my friends, is... Is Black Pine Resin. This motherfucker gets demolished by black pine resin. That looks cool as hell. But this guy hits hard. He's swinging, but he's slow as hell. The gimmick of the fight is that he can, like, throw these leeches on you, or flies or whatever, and they drain your health a little bit. And what you gotta do to get rid of them is hit one of these up. Hey, you gotta make some sacrifices, right? Weirdly, I'm not dealing as much damage as I was hoping, slash thinking. I mean, if you have some fire magic, this guy is a piece of cake. I mean, he does look gross. I mean, the gross factor is there.
what this guy is is essentially a giant like wasp nest that's sentient and believe me that is not a pretty sight someone who's had to deal with two wasp nests at their house throughout the summer believe me that shit ain't fun he wasn't using that shooting attack as much before fuck off God, I don't remember this guy being this annoying. Fuck. So the timing is off. Yeah, he definitely didn't use that shooting attack that much before. Do I have wasps on me? No, I don't. Fucking die. <sighs> Not very stressful, just... Yeah, now, Demon Souls boss. Forty, man, that boss is definitely not worth <laughs> that many souls. Beyond the swamp, filled with poisonous jellyfish and giant slugs, is a cavern that absorbs all that is unclean, and a shrine of rotten trees erected in honor of a demon. Visitors offer souls to be freed from their notions of suffering. All that is unclean ends up in a giant swamp at the base of the Valley of Defilement. The swamp is accessible of put putrilage, ver vermin, and plague. Cool. That was the Dirty Colossus. Interesting boss. I mean, mechanically, he's interesting. I like the fire mechanic that you have to get the flies off of you. But the issue is that he is almost exactly the same thing as the Leechmonger. That's one of the things that's always been talked about. That the two bosses of these areas are very, very samey. So, you know, whatever. Cool, let's fill up. Still, as you can see, this is what I'm talking about, late game. There's not really much of a need to farm for healing items. So anyways, let's wrap up this area. Let's let's be assholes because this this is the place where you are absolutely going to feel like an asshole. The defining moment of Demon Souls. I think this is one of the more iconic sort of like set pieces, you know. The boy doesn't fall off, you know. Uh, I probably need the one that removes plague as well. Yeah. Actually, I probably don't need the poison one here. Just the plague one. Let's go. She's gonna be like even more realistic looking. Man, that is gross looking. Oh, she's a waifu. Damn. Shit. Of course they made her a waifu. You know this pair from Dark Souls 3. Go forth, Galvin. May you be unharmed. 
So she's the target. Uh, that made an Estrella. So this is the part where you feel like an asshole. That's what I'm talking about. Um, they just want to be left alone, but you can't because you gotta save the world. You will not turn back, will you? I shall let no harm come to dearest Estrella. May you rot in the deepest depths of the swamp. So yeah, this is Garl Vinland. Hopefully they corrected the glitch. This is just a big tanky boy. Slow attacks. Hits like a truck. Fucking hell! <gasps> he parries! He parries! Damn, I didn't know he parried. Oh man. You just gotta bait out an attack. But the issue is that he has this stupid, like, shockwave attack on his weapon. They did not correct the glitch. It's not a glitch, but you see, the issue used to be always that his weapon really, like, got caught easily on the, uh, on the cliff walls here. And it made him almost unable to attack. I thought they would address that by sort of widening the area, but I guess not. That's a shame. I mean, this guy isn't difficult. This is... This boss fight is a thematic one. So... You know, no need for him to be super tough. I don't think you can parry this weapon. I think the rule still used to be that certain, like, really heavy weapons are... Unparryable. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, Garl Vinland. I am genuinely sorry, because these guys just, like, like I said, want to be left alone. And we are being assholes here. Yeah, so you get the plague here. Whoa, what the hell was that? <laughs> you killed him, didn't you? Very well. I can no longer resist you. Do as you like. Take your precious demon soul. Oh, I feel so bad. How about that? Do you feel like an asshole yet? I think you feel like an asshole. Yeah, so that's the Maiden Estrella boss fight. Not really a boss fight, but... Thematically, I think a very strong part of the game. Very memorable, especially now that she's wife material. She used to be kind of an indistinguishable blob in the old version. Because character models were not from strong suit back in the day. Uh, but this game... That's some good shit. Yeah, that was... that was not fun. Astraea was once the sixth saint, but now she lives besides those awaiting death in the Valley of the Famine. To ease the pain of the Valley's dwellers, Astraea chose... surrender... Oh, Astraea chose surrender to a demon soul over the cruel god she worshipped. Oh, okay. So we got some lore here. So she feels that the god she worships is cruel. Because all these people are suffering. So she'd rather be with demons. That's some R atheism type shit. I respect that. Cool. Well, we cleared out Patches' healing item sort of store. We got as much as we can. 
With that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up another episode of Demon Souls. This was a fun one. We are getting towards the end of this game and this playthrough. We have to do this place, which I think we're going to clear out in the next episode. Um, and Boletaria, the last two parts of Boletaria, which are not easy, to be fair. That is not... Uh, those are two fairly difficult areas. Gotta get Sage Freak and, you know, all the, all the usual. So... I'll wrap it up here. As always, guys, if you did enjoy this episode of Demon Souls, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifs. I'm calling them notifs now. Take care and see you next time. Goodbye.